Number 15, a spinner. Another one that was kind of missed a lot. A spinner with nine equal sections labeled one through nine is spun 225 times. Theoretically, how many times will the spinner land on a multiple of three? So we're talking theory. Um, if I have nine sections, they're labeled one through nine, and we're looking for a multiple of three. So one is not a multiple of three. It has to be a number that's divisible by three, not a factor or anything. Actually, I guess they are similar to factors. Uh, three, six, and nine are all multiples of three. So that's three out of my nine equal sections. That gets simplified to one third because three goes into three one time and three goes into nine three times. Then it says if it's spun 225 times, and remember we're making predictions here, and any time we make a prediction, we're going to make a proportion. And this is my unknown. Uh, this is not pretty, but I kind of just have to do the work. I'm going to multiply 225 times 1, which is super simple. That's 225. And then I'm dividing by this lonely number right here. So 225 divided by 3. 3 goes into 2 zero times. 3 into 22 is 7 times. That's going to give you 21. Subtract. Oh, oopsie. Bring down that 5. And 3 into 15 is 5 times. So my lovely answer is, if it's spun 225 times, I would expect it to land on a multiple of 3 75 times. And in every whole number, the decimal is floating there at the end invisibly. So there you go.